Welcome to MH2801 video segment on the second example on the derivative of a function of a single complex variable. In the earlier video segment, we have considered the derivative of fz equals to z squared and how to calculate it starting from the definition of the derivative. In this example, we will show that the derivative of fz equals to the absolute value of z squared, which is x squared plus y squared, does not exist, again starting from the definition. To show that, first let us consider approaching the point z naught, which is equals to x naught plus i y naught along the x direction. If we do this, then z is equals to x plus i y naught, where x is allowed to vary because we are approaching along the y direction, but y naught is held fixed. Now, we again write down what is f z naught. This will be equals to x naught square plus y naught square. We also write down what is f z, and this will be x square plus y naught square. If we take the difference between the two functions by a function values, f z minus f z naught we will find that this is equals to x square minus x naught square, which can be written as x minus x naught times x plus x naught. Now, we can also write down explicitly what z minus z naught is, and this will be equals to x plus i y naught minus x naught plus i y naught, which is equals to x minus x naught. Therefore, the ratio whose limit we want to evaluate, fz minus fz naught, divided by z minus z naught, is equals to x minus x naught, x plus x naught, divided by x minus x naught, we see that there is some cancellation and therefore this ratio is equals to x plus x naught which in the limit of z going to z naught along the x direction will give us 2x naught. Okay? Now this is the derivative, the, the limiting value of the ratio that we will get if we approach z naught along the uh, x direction. Now what if we approach z naught along the y direction? So let's see what happens then. So again, let's write down uh, approach. Okay, z naught equals to x naught plus i y naught along the y direction. Okay, in that case, z will be equals to x naught because we are only varying along the y, the value of y plus i y, and this means that z minus z naught is equals to x naught plus i y minus x naught plus i y naught which is equals to i y minus y naught. Okay, again we can write down what f z naught is. This is equals to x naught square plus y naught square and then f of z will be equals to x naught square plus y square which means that f z minus f z naught will be equals to y square minus 
y naught square, which we can write, of course, as y minus y naught times y plus y naught. Okay. Therefore, the ratio whose limit we we are want to evaluate that is f minus f z naught divided by z minus z naught will be equals to y minus y naught y plus y naught divided by i y minus y naught. So after some cancellation, we will find that this is equals to y plus y naught divided by i which is equals to minus i y plus y naught so in the limit of z naught z oops so like i said the eraser is not easily accessible but we can still get it let me get rid of this here z going to z naught we will find that this ratio becomes minus 2i y naught which is of course not the same as 2x naught obtained by approaching along the x direction okay now because the two the two uh, ratio the two limits are not the same so because the two limits are not the same this implies that the derivative of f z equals to the modulus of z square does not exist okay actually except at z equals to zero okay then you can say that the derivative of fz equals to the absolute value of z square uh, exists okay so the next in the next video segment we will talk about a simplified a simpler way to check whether uh, derivatives exist for a function because you can see that um, applying the definition over and over again can be quite rather cumbersome.